Hey guys, this is X Andrew 2007 x Before I get further in the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys haven't already check my Discord for your PlayStation 4 jailbreaking needs. And if you guys could possibly check out my original channel, X Andrew 2007 x and possibly leave the bell. And then for my channel, which you currently guys are watching on, since I can't do it for myself, uh, there should be a bell for notifications. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is X Andrew 2007 x here with a very cool video for the Playing 4 scene. Before I get further in the video, I would greatly appreciate if you guys give a like, as well as a comment, so as my channel as well as my video get out there. And I would greatly appreciate if this video could reach 2,007 likes. It really shows that you guys support this content, and I know you guys will enjoy this video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys how you can downgrade your PlayStation 4. Uh, I know in the last couple videos I've been downgrading. Uh, that has been done through the test kit. Uh, if you guys don't know what a test kit is, uh, simply just Google it. It's basically what developers use to uh, test and develop uh, games. Uh, it has a little bit more features where you can you know, test and you know develop games like I just mentioned. And this, uh, you can downgrade any PlayStation 4 um, besides a test kit and dev kit because they can already do that. In any case, um, like I said in the other videos, this is not like user friendly. However, someone took the time to make a very well organized PDF and uh, both links will be in the description. Uh, I'm making this video now because I now have the, the pack where you can now use the programs. Before, th there was just a tutorial, and you know, without the programs, the tutorial would be useless. So this will be in the description, so you will need this. And then uh, there's the PDF right here, which will also be in the description. I am not doing this personally. Um, if you guys need help, which if you guys are going to attempt this, uh, please contact this guy on Facebook. Um, he also has a Twitter, which will be in the description. Um, like I said, this is not user-friendly. So if you're going to attempt this, uh, please make sure you know how to like solder stuff. Um, so his information will, once again, be in the description. I'm just going to be talking briefly through this. And um, it's going to kind of be a tutorial, because this is a tutorial. However, uh, I don't have the experience to do this. But I am, you know, hopefully educating a few of you guys that will attempt this. Uh, you guys can see right here... Um, you will need some skills. If you guys did anything for 360 or the Platinum 3 where you needed soldering, um, this is good for you. Uh, also, you'll need some patience and I guess a lot of passion. Um, so, like I mentioned, for this to work, uh, if you guys get a new Platinum 4 that's like, you know, on 1.76 and then uh, you go to 8.00 or 7.55. This will work perfectly, and I'm pretty sure you guys could do something very useful for it. However, if you guys are on 7.51, you cannot downgrade to like 505. You will need to actually be on 505, and you will need to like back up the syscon, and then you can then go to 8.00 or 7.55, and then go back to 505. If you are already on 7.50, 7.51. 7.55 or 8.00 you cannot I repeat you cannot go back you need to do something on the firmware that you want to back uh, backport or downgrade to and then you can go back and forth like a test kit so um, basically you will need some tools um, I'm not too sure about this I think it might be like maybe like hundred dollars worth of stuff um, like I mentioned before, if you guys did this for your 360 or Playton 3 where you need to solder stuff, I'm pretty sure you guys might know what these tools are. I don't, but this is a very well-written tutorial. It may look like a few steps. However, those steps are very, uh, you need to have some skills for. And um, like I mentioned, this will be in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't like a full tutorial of like me showing me doing it. However, like I showed you guys, there is someone that you can contact who actually has done it. I will also link the founder of this method in the description if you guys would like to ask him some questions. Like I said, it's a couple of steps. However, um, you need some tools and you need some soldering skills. And it's, you know, uh, it's, what is that, seven, seven skills, uh, seven steps. And then right here is the link. And yeah, he, this is the founder. This is his Twitter. All this information will be in the description. Uh, just to be clear, this is 100%, you know, it downgrades, but you need to be on the firmware you want to downgrade to, and then you got to go, you know, update, and then you can go back. If you guys are on the current firmware, 
you cannot roll back. You need to buy a new PlayStation 4. Uh, the founder said, hopefully within six months of you know when the PlayStation 5 comes out, he will post a more user-friendly version. And hopefully, you guys could do it on the firmware that you're on, and then you could roll back like a beta or like a test kit dev kit. But anyway, uh, leave a like, comment, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, peace.